Fitness content is everywhere online. Workout clips, transformation photos, daily routines, and motivational posts. But behind some of the fastest growing fitness pages right now aren't trainers, athletes, or models. They're AI-created influencers, built to look consistent, professional, and on-brand at all times. But the big question is, how can you create one yourself? And you know what? I got you. So buckle up, because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a fitness AI influencer from scratch. You'll learn how to create the character, keep the look consistent, and create fitness content that feels authentic and ready for social media. So if you want to build a fitness-focused AI influencer page, then like the video because it's free. And this is where it starts. To create your fitness AI influencer, the first step is to generate the prompts you will use to create the images. For this step, you can use ChatGPT to help you generate prompt ideas or write full prompts that you'll use to create create your fitness AI influencer images. When writing the prompts, you will mainly be describing three things, the clothing, the scene or location, and the pose. Now, sometimes you might have a specific pose or maybe outfit in mind for your fitness AI influencer, but the challenge is how to describe everything clearly to ChatGPT. In this case, there is another easier option you can use instead of trying to explain everything in words. You can go to Pinterest and search for terms like fitness girl or fitness influencer. Influencer. This will allow you to find real fitness influencer images where the pose, outfit, or overall style matches what you have in mind for your fitness AI influencer. Once you find images that match the pose, outfit, or general look you want, you can download those images to your computer. These images will serve as reference images, and you can use them not only for pose inspiration but also for outfits, styles, ideas, and even the scenes or location ideas. This makes it much easier later when you want ChatGPT to help you write accurate prompts based on visual references. In simple terms, you will use Pinterest to collect a few reference images and save them on your computer. These images will then be uploaded to ChatGPT so it can analyze them and help you generate prompts based on those references. You can ask ChatGPT to focus on specific elements such as the outfits, the pose, or the scene, depending on what matters most to you in those images you've downloaded. However, instead of uploading each image one by one, which can be limiting especially if you are on the free plan, there is an easier and faster method. Even if you are on the pro plan, this method can still save you time. For this next step, we will use Canva. And the link to Canva is in the description, so you can sign up if you do not already have a Canva account. Once you are on the Canva homepage, click on Custom Size. Make sure the units are set to pixels, and then enter 4096 by 4096 to create a square design. The reason for creating this design is to combine multiple reference images into one single image. This allows you to upload one image to ChatGPT instead of uploading many individual images. After clicking Create New Design, go to the Uploads tab and upload the images you downloaded from Pinterest. Then, add them to the canvas and arrange them neatly so they do not overlap and are clearly separate. You can include four, five, or six images depending on what fits comfortably in the canvas. Once you are satisfied with the layout, download the design as a PNG file. To do this, click on Share, then Download. Choose PNG under the file type, select the page, and click Download. Now go back to ChatGPT and upload the image you downloaded from Canva. Click the plus icon and add the image. Then, write a simple prompt asking ChatGPT to carefully analyze the reference images and generate image prompts based on them. You can clearly tell ChatGPT what you want it to describe, such as the pose, clothing, scene, or location. For example, you might ask it to describe the clothing, pose, and scene shown in the reference images, so you can create similar images for your fitness AI influencer. You can also choose to focus on just one element, such as the pose, while describing the clothing or scene yourself. It all depends on what you want to achieve. Once ChatGPT generates the prompts, Carefully read through them to make sure everything makes sense. Sometimes small errors or unclear descriptions can appear, so it is important to review and adjust the prompts or ask ChatGPT to refine them if needed. After your prompts are ready, the next step is to create the images of your fitness AI influencer. Before doing that, you will need a base image also known as a reference image. This is usually a portrait-style image that shows how your AI influencer looks, including facial features, 
hairstyle, hair color, and overall appearance. If you do not already have a base image, you will need to create one. You can use ChatGPT again to help you write a prompt for generating a portrait image of your AI influencer. In that prompt, you can describe the hairstyle, hair color, facial features, and even nationality if you want. Base image will make the rest of the process much easier when creating additional images of your AI influencer. To create the images for your fitness AI influencer, we will be using Whisk AI. The link to Whisk AI is in the description. Once you create an account and enter the tool, open a new project. In the left panel, under the subject section, upload your base image or reference image of your AI influencer and make sure the relevant options Option is checked. Then close the panel to give yourself more working space. Next, go back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt it generated, and paste it into Whisk AI. Then, choose the appropriate aspect ratio. For prompts that include full body poses, the portrait aspect ratio is usually the best option. Since my prompt includes shoes in the clothing description, the best option in this case is to use the portrait ratio. In general, the ratio you choose will depend on how your prompt is written and the type of pose you have described. But sometimes you can also test both ratios and compare the results to see which one looks better. After selecting the ratio, you will click on Generate. Whisk AI will generate two images for you, and you can then choose the one you like best. When we compare the generated images to the base image, you can see that they are clearly the same AI influencer. However, this is still not enough to fully confirm consistency, so we need to generate more images. But before creating additional images, you'll come to this section and lock the seed number. Once you lock the seed number, make sure to write it down or take a screenshot and save it somewhere safe. This is important because you may want to reuse the same seed number in the future future to generate more images of the same AI influencer. Also, ensure that precise reference remains turned on. This helps maintain consistency across all generated images. If you turn it off, the results may become inconsistent. To generate the next set of images, go back to ChatGPT, copy the second prompt, paste it into Whisk AI, and click generate again. You will notice that the AI influencer remains consistent with the base image. Repeat this process for the third prompt and any additional prompts you have. As you continue this process, you will build a collection of images featuring the same consistent-looking fitness AI influencer. As long as you are using a high-quality base image, have locked the seed number, kept precise reference turned on, and are using clear prompts, Whisk AI will give you strong and consistent results. Once you are happy with the images, download the ones you like and use them for your fitness AI influencers' social media content. Beyond just images, you can also level things up by turning these images into videos. To turn images into videos, you have two options. The first option is to animate the images directly inside Whisk AI. If you hover over an image, you will see the animate button. However, there is one limitation. Images generated in square or portrait ratios cannot be animated unless they are in landscape ratio. Whisk AI requires landscape images for video generation. If you like the style of an image and want to turn it into a video, open that image and copy the exact prompt that was used to generate it. Then paste the prompt here, switch the aspect ratio to landscape, and generate the image again. This gives you the same style, but now in a landscape format that can be animated. Once the landscape image is generated, choose the version you like and click the animate button. You will then add an image to video prompt describing what you want to happen in the video. And Whisk AI uses VEO3 for video generation, so you simply need to describe the motion and actions you want to see. If you find it difficult to write the image to video prompt, you can go back to ChatGPT and ask it to help you write the motion prompt based on the image. Once the video is ready, you can review and download it. Keep in mind that if you are on the free plan in Whisk AI, you only get five video generations per month. Because of this, be mindful and avoid wasting video generations. So now, let's watch the video VO3 has created for us. The video looks amazing, and I like how it clearly followed everything that was in the prompt. So that's the first option for turning your images into videos inside Whisk AI. The second option for turning images into videos is using OpenArt. First, download the images you want to animate from Whisk AI. Then go to OpenArt using the link in the description and create an account if you do not already have one.
One major advantage of OpenArt is that it gives you access to multiple AI video generation models in one place without needing separate subscriptions for each tool. Inside OpenArt, go to the Video tab and select Image to Video. Upload the image you want to animate, then choose a model. There are many options available, but for this first example we will use Kling 2.6. After selecting the model, add your prompt that describes what you want to happen in the video. Next, adjust the video duration. If your prompt includes more actions or movement, choose the longer duration here, which is 10 seconds. If the motion is simple, 5 seconds will be enough. You can also choose whether to enable audio or keep it off. Once everything is set, click Create and Kling 2.6 will generate your video. Now let's review this video. Wow, the realism and natural motion in this video is great. The fact that it added cars passing by in the video is impressive, which makes this video look more realistic. And actually, I didn't even mention about cars passing in the prompt. So for this first example, Kling 2.6 has done amazing. Now, before I continue, I just want to share that I'm creating a brand new video course that will show you exactly how you can use an AI avatar to build your own brand and start monetizing it online in different ways. So if you've ever watched wanted to start content creation or even a YouTube channel, but didn't want to show your face, or maybe you've wanted to create content but don't have the budget for recording equipments, then this is going to be perfect for you. Right now, I've opened a wait list for those who want to learn how to do this once the course is ready. The spots are very limited, and once they fill up, I won't be reopening the wait list again. So, if you'd like to be among the first people to get early access and special early bird pricing when the course launches, make sure you join using the first link in the description before the spots fill up. And thank you so much to everyone who has already joined. I really appreciate it. But if you haven't joined yet, make sure you don't miss this opportunity. Go ahead and click that first link in the description and sign up before the doors close. All right, now let's get back to the video. If you want your fitness AI influencer to speak, upload an image in a 916 ratio, switch the model to VEO3, and write the spoken words directly inside quotation marks in your prompt. For example, write something like, she says, add the open quotation mark, then type the words she's going to speak, and add the closing quotation mark. Putting the words in quotation marks tells VEO3 exactly what the influencer should say in the video. For the settings, these are the ones you are going to use. Under version, you will leave it at 3.1. For audio, make sure it is turned on, because in this case, you want your fitness AI influencer to speak. For the resolution, you can choose either 720 or 1080, but 1080 is the best option here for higher quality. The aspect ratio should be set to 916. The video mode will remain on fast, and for the duration, you can leave it at the default, which is 8 seconds. After confirming all these settings, you will click Create. These are the exact settings you should use when creating your VEO3 video. Now let's watch the video that VEO3 has created for us. Hey guys, it's been a little while. I've been taking some time to travel and just unwind lately, honestly, just enjoying the moment out here. It's been amazing. As you can see, the video has come out extremely well. The lip sync looks very accurate and the overall quality is impressive. VEO3 has done a great job here, especially considering that we asked the fitness AI influencer to speak. The voice it generated sounds natural and realistic, which makes the video feel like it features a real influencer rather than something created by AI. Next, I went ahead and switched the model to Kling 2.6 and used the exact same image and the exact same prompt that I used with VEO3. The only thing I changed was the model and its settings. I wanted to compare the results and see how Kling 2.6 would handle the same example. Let's watch the video that Kling 2.6 created. Hey guys, it's, it's been a little while. I've been taking some time to travel and just unwind lately. Honestly, just enjoying the moment out here. It's been amazing. As you can see, the result from Kling 2.6 also looks very good. The lip sync is nice, the motion feels natural, and the overall video looks realistic. Once again, it feels like a real influencer speaking, even though the video was generated using AI. In this case, Kling 2.6 has also done an excellent job, and that is how you can turn your images 
into videos and start building your own fitness AI influencer page or account. As long as you are using the right tools, following the correct steps, and applying a clear strategy, you can achieve very strong results. I hope this tutorial has helped you understand how to do this on your own. Instead of just watching the video and moving on, I encourage you to try it yourself and see what you can create. That is how you truly learn, by practicing and experimenting on your own. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and like the video. All the tools mentioned in this tutorial are linked in the description, and don't forget to join the waitlist, which is the first link in the description. Thank you so much for your support and for watching.